Visitors and scientists in Yellowstone National Park have noticed some changes as they gaze into the abyss this summer. One of the park's deepest hot springs has lost its coolness, indicating that it is about to experience a major eruption. The abyss pool in the West Thumb Geyser Basin has been heating up and changing colors for the past few months. It's another example of Yellowstone's dynamic, ever-changing landscape. They are some of the most dynamic features on the planet, and the abyss pool shows that, said Mike Poland, the scientist in charge of the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory. The abyss pool is one of the park's deepest hot springs, reaching a depth of 53 feet. Its name is believed to come from Gustavus Cheney Doan, who described its deep chasm during the Washburn Langford Doan expedition to Yellowstone in 1870. The name also evokes mystery, and the abyss pool has lived up to that. Despite its name, the abyss pool has a history of violent eruptions, the pool can shoot up to 100 feet of hot water and eject chunks of sinter, silica mud and rock that forms around the hot spring. Poland said previous abyss pool eruptions occurred when the pool was at its hottest. Some eruptions occurred over the span of days, even hours. It's possible that this will be a series of eruptions. It's also possible that temperatures will start to drop. It's impossible to say how things will play out. Over the summer, there was a marked change in the behavior and appearance of the abyss pool. Scientists have been monitoring the hot springs ever since. First, the pool's water level slowly rose between 1 and 2 feet. The water level rose so high that the pool overflowed, which may have sent a wave of water down toward Yellowstone Lake. Then, the abyss pool changed color. The dark greenish-black water turned a brilliant blue. The color change is a sure sign of a temperature change in a hot spring. Morning Glory Pool in the Upper Geyser Basin near Old Faithful had a similar brilliant blue color, until its outlet became clogged with coins and other debris, which lowered its temperature and changed its color. The abyss pool temperature is currently hovering around 180 degrees Fahrenheit, and Mike Poland is skeptical that the changes in the abyss pool are a sign that the West Thumb Geyser Basin is becoming more active. He thinks it has something to do with the underground plumbing system that brings water to the features. It's more likely to do with the shallow plumbing system and how heat is distributed in the area. Water is constantly moving in the area, and that kind of activity changes all the time. There's no set timetable, but it's possible that the abyss pool has cooled and gone dark again. If it hasn't, Poland believes the pool could change again, as the seasons change in the park. The temperature could reach a saturation point and start dropping as the snow melts and floods the area in the spring. That's very interesting and something to keep an eye on, but we don't really know what the outcome will be. The West Thumb Geyser Basin isn't the largest or most popular hot spring basin in Yellowstone National Park, but Poland believes it's been overlooked and underrated as it should be. One reason is that some of the hot spring features in the basin are not visible without a snorkel or scuba tank. There are many features that are underwater, just offshore. The entire area is a very active hot spring basin, but part of it is in Yellowstone Lake. The visible features, such as the abyss pool and occasional lakeshore and twin geysers, have unique and erratic eruption behavior. When twin geysers erupted in 1934, it shot boiling water, mud and wood 120 feet into the air. Poland and other Yellowstone scientists are monitoring the abyss pool to see if the deep hot spring will erupt while it's still hot. Even if it doesn't, 
Poland sees it as another example of what makes Yellowstone National Park one of the most dynamic landscapes in the world. That's the nature of Yellowstone's thermal basins. They're incredibly dynamic. They're always changing. They're supposed to be some of the most dynamic features on the planet, and that's exactly what they're supposed to do.